What am I up to here? Good afternoon. This is an Age of Empires game between Sean the Sheep and Brossier.flow. Brossier.flow is playing as the Britons. He is a French player who is about 1250 ELO, top 8000 in the world. And this is a 1v1 matchup on the ranked ladder, so you know that Sean the Sheep must be near Brossier's um, ELO. He's 1250 as well. He's playing as the Berbers, a great cavalry sieve with some uh, some good choices for shooty shoots later on. You can go crossbows and castle age. You can go you can go knights, maybe even camels if the other players already got knights out. It's it's great. Um, do like Berbers. They got redemption. It's it's a great sieve. I like I like Berbers. Uh, Britons, of course, known for their longbows. And insane rage with their Yalman uh, arbalists uh, can be very deadly in the late game if they get a good mass going. And we'll see what we have. Both players. Ooh, wow! Look at the amount of scouting he's doing with his sheep. Let's take a look at what he's got so far. He's got his entire base scouted out, but he's almost got no food on the uh, underneath the TC. Well, he's got two dead sheep, so I guess that's fine. Oh no, he's about to run out. You better get that sheep in there. They're gonna be idle. Hurry! Get that sheep! Ah, There's 50 left. It's fine. <laughs> Berbers with their cheaper stable units. I really do like playing as the Berbers myself. Uh, Britons with their faster working archery ranges can have a very deadly uh, two archery range early pressure. Uh, being, being two archery ranges is already aggressive if you go up at 23 pop. Um, having one archery range, you can you can probably make up for going one archery range by being Britons and having that 20% faster working archery range. Brossier now going forward, see if you can find the enemy. Let's see what he sees. He doesn't see anything yet. He's found a neutral gold, maybe. He doesn't quite know what that is. Maybe he's trying to find a wood line. Really just doesn't want to run into the TC, I bet. Both players... Uh, good on their idle TC time, good on their idle eco, very efficient. They have learned the game, they're they are mastering its intricacies. They can reliably attack you with military units, and I trust that they will both get well beyond 100 villagers at some point if the game goes that long. I don't think that they'll stay in the game if one player has 100 vills and the other one has 50. I think they'll see the writing on the wall and resign. So... I don't think they're going to waste my time at all. <laughs> I, hate, I shouldn't say things like that. Come on. <laughs> Someone's saying, oh, they're not going to waste my time at all. Clearly, the other players are always wasting my time. <laughs> no, I just like to, I just like to have fun. Um, boar under the TC, almost out of food, taking another boar. These villagers are going to run out of stuff to do. Or maybe it's timed perfectly. It's almost time to attack the next board with the... Oh, look! It is timed perfectly. Very nice. I'm going to crack my voice as many times as I can just to show excitement, okay? My voice crack is... It shows us the excitement, so... And if I do something really stupid like that, you know... You know, I'm just... Had had too much coffee. Yay. Frank. My Frank the Frank. <laughs> Frank the Mundaten is finishing off the boar that got left over here. There's like a couple steaks left on it. Need to slice those off before you go to the next boar. Keep those sheep underneath your town center. Don't want to get lamed. He hasn't seen the scout at all. Hmm. Found the wood line. Found the berries. Probably going to be excited for that. Maybe come back to push in some deer. Getting the forward barracks. At 20 vils, hmm, could be Men at Arms Rush, Men at Arms Fast Castle. Walling up, no forward military. Going for Loom now, usually that's a tell that we're about to go to Feudal Age. Don't quite have the food for that though. I wonder if he'll have to idle his TC at all. Maybe force drop off. I don't know, let's see what he does. TC idle for red. Blue has his Loom in. TC idol for blue. Wow, he's much further away from feudal though. Oh, oh gosh. Yeah, what what's the to what's gonna be the total TC idol time going into feudal for these players? I got 37 for Sean the sheep, and Brosier is at 
uh, 35. So, not that bad. They're they're the same. They have the same idle TC time. Barracks coming up for Sean the Sheep. Ready. Brossiers, uh, militia are ready. E. Sean has not responded. He has not walled in his villager. He gets the barracks up and hasn't responded yet. E. Okay, he starts moving. Berber's villagers, of course, 10% faster. Going to be hard to catch up to that lady. Walling in our berries. Very nice, very nice. This militia may not find any damage at Sean the Sheep's base. Sean the Sheep uh, scout still out in left field. Just over here hanging out with the wolves and the deer. Militia coming in. Same thing, get some harassment, some picks. Harassed her right into the TC. Gonna go for this wood line now. Scout Terry is leading the way. Less than half health. Ready. Militia. Will he attack the Palisades? Force them to repair? Yes, he will. Sean the Sheep should start repairing. Maybe when it's about half health. Okay, repairs early. Villager not moving. And if you wait for it to be about half health, your villager... You don't have to command it as often to start repairing, you know. Ooh, ooh! You got a slap. You got a slap between the uh, caddy corner. Ooh! You got to watch out. Brossier slick, Sean the Sheep. You got to be careful of that. Sean the Sheep finding berries. Ooh, getting blocked. Smack that scout. That's a weak scout. Are you sure you want to block him with that? Okay, turn around. Azul. Oh, no, that's a fast vill. He's going to smack that sheep. Uh, he's going to smack that horse. <laughs> and yet... Oh, he played patty cake. He played circle. Oh, he ran circles around your your vill. And it caused the uh, militia to catch up. And now here's a clear yeah. wood line. Will Brossier find another vill pick? Sean the sheep really wants to get that scout pick. We see a loaded stable from... Sean the Sheep. And playing, we're running in circles again. And here comes one archer to get rid of this uh, militia rush. New scout attacked. The, ah, he's going after the militia. The scout's going to go down. What are we looking at? Idle eco. Idle eco is the same for both. About 3.3%. And that... Brosier has had to work to idle that much eco. But... Uh, at home, he's already got that much idle eco. So he's putting in work to get Sean the sheep to idle himself a bit. And it's it's causing just a little bit. It's breaking just a little bit more idle eco than what he already has at home. These militia will run away from uh, one archer. This scout is so hurt that he can't come back and save this militia. This is a, a terrible situation for these three militia. They... Really shouldn't feel threatened by one archer. Ready. And if they're just going to stand here, you may as well just click them onto the archer. All right, I guess he's donating those. Uh, we, can, we can stop watching. It's a little, a little brutal. Uh, market Blacksmith. He wants it for market abuse. He doesn't need those buildings to go up to the next stage. He is just getting them because he needs a blacksmith. Uh, obviously, you need a blacksmith. And the market's here for market abuse. We have Brosier getting ready with a, an archer follow-up. Archer follow-up, not as snappy as I think it should be. You see he has five lined up. He's only produced two so far. He probably could have lined up one much earlier in Feudal Age. Hmm. They may have shaved off some time for this response. Because right now, uh, Sean the Sheep has a lot of time to respond to the amount of aggression that he's getting. And he's getting on... Gold here. He's going to have his own archer soon. But Sean the Sheep is still going to have to catch up with Rossier. Rossier is ahead in military by a landslide. He's also ahead in Vils. But not by quite as much. Four. Five Vils is significant, but we've seen people come back from worse. And one archer goes down by himself. I don't know why this guy was out there. Was he looking for something? I'm gonna click on to his building. Yeah, I guess he didn't... He's just scouting. I thought... I thought uh, Sean the Sheep made an extra scout. Did he lose his starting scout and also the extra scout? I guess so, huh? 
So he really couldn't, he really didn't know what was going on. He, he sent that guy forward just to see uh, an archery range with a flag on it. And now he sees that there are archers who aren't doing anything. You know, they could be clicked forward a bit. Yeah, there we go. There's a click forward. And it'll harass. Ah, it's just a few arrows. Ah, it's just a few arrows. He'll bounce right back. <laughs> that Berber villager's, villager is very stout. He, he gets shot a bit. He's like, ah, it's fine. Splitting the archer numbers. Confident that Sean the Sheep doesn't have much to respond with. Which is true. Sean the Sheep doesn't have much to respond with. Now with three archers in the north, he may be able to keep them off wood. If he will... Oh, he's going to try to shoot this gold. Oh, yeah, that's a good... Yeah, there you go. Harass it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sean the Sheep, off of gold. Brosier looking for some more picks. Some more... Wood lines. Sean the sheep. Off gold. Not giving him a run for his money. Actually, he's just kind of sitting back and going to Castle Age, right? Like, uh... He's kicking, he can click it now. He's microwing his vills right now. He's not clicking it yet. But he's, he's going to click Castle Age soon. Let me tell you. Perfect. He will be in Castle Age at least... Three seconds faster, four seconds, five seconds faster, six seconds faster. Every second that passes is another second that uh, Brosier is not in Castle Age. And in two minutes, Sean the Sheep will be in Castle Age and Brosier will not. I wonder what Sean the Sheep will create in Castle Age. It's probably going to be knights. Given the army cop that he's up against and needlessly Yay. shooting deer. I mean, he's not going to He's not gonna take those deer. Ooh, outranged. You need your blacksmith upgrades. Mandatum. Sean the Sheep with no blacksmith upgrades. We keeping it a mystery what he's going to do in Castle Age. If he was going to go crossbows, though, he would already be making archers right now. Um, here comes reinforcements. 13 more archers. Ooh, the Britons are getting their mass. A little scary. It's a little scary, Sean. What are we seeing up here? We are seeing another stable. He is going knights. No question. Knights, no question. He's getting bloodlines. Perfect, man. He'll have two knights 30 seconds after leave, uh, arriving to Castle Age. This second gold is going to get harassed. Oh, one vil pick. Two vil picks. And he notices. Oh, runs away. Two, two dead. Four wounded. Keeping Sean off of this one wood line. He's got plenty of wood lines, though. He's got at least four. He's only using three right now. Uh, dancing. And now that one archer's dunyan rings getting he's lined up three knights. He could have another knight lined up. Why doesn't he why isn't he producing out of both stables? Alright, now how many how many knights is he gonna make before he pops out? If he takes one knight over here, he could probably clear up these five. He probably can do that right now. If he gets a second knight, he can definitely clear up these five. They're away from the mass. This match of massive archers, you may want, I'm just going to guess here, like five. You may want six or seven. I would get as many archer, as many knights as my enemy would allow me to. But with two, he could definitely take this right now. If he sees these, if he sees these archers, I think he should pop out. He just sees a scout. The scout sees that he's got knights queued up, and the archers will run away. Mandatum. That's that's the kind of thing that we see. We don't. He doesn't see it. He's got town watch, so now you can see even more. But it's too late. <laughs> Did they cross in front of the wood line too? He probably could have seen that if he had a town watch a little sooner. Three knights got a fourth one in the queue. I don't know why he's not using both stables at the same time. I suppose he's having trouble with gold. Still feeling that uh, gold rush attack. Let's see what the Britons player does. He's got such a mass of archers. You know, he's just going to wait for Bodkin. Uh, oh, Sean, Sean could get in here. There's a hole, and uh, Sean doesn't see it yet. If he would click past, he could get in here and get some night, uh, some vil kills. Yeah, here he goes. This mass is about to become crossbows, and I'm sure that each one is going to kill a knight. Or, sorry, the mass will kill a knight um, upon focus fire. Yeah, focus fire, going to kill a knight. Do it! Ooh! Ooh! It still takes two shots. But, 
Man, those knights are in trouble. Next, he needs v ballistics. I'm gonna go two TCs. Sean the Sheep, understanding that he is ahead in eco by being in Castle Age early, he's gonna take that as well. I'm gonna go two TCs. Here's another knight. He's just looking for something. He's not gonna find anything. There aren't any holes in this wall. I inspected it myself. I didn't, but you know, in the corporate world, you gotta you gotta lie sometimes to get what you want. Knight attacking buildings. Knight going down. Not a lot of army from Sean the Sheep. Seems he's taking the eco approach. Brossier has got quite the mass to play with. So he can take the eco approach too and just play with his massive crossbows. Uh, but instead he's choosing to sit back at home. I would really like to see some action. Mm -hmm. I want to see some combat. He's checking out where all the relics are, I suppose, out here. This guy also checking out where all the relics are, I suppose. He's scouted almost all of them so far. Oh, the knight's going to get converted. Yeah, that's a bad thing about WTF? What do you mean what happened? Oh, is he just mad he didn't get the conversion fast enough? Yeah. WTF, WTF. No conversion. Yeah. That's all right. I don't think he needed it. <laughs> Sean the Sheep keeping his night numbers a secret. Brossier not... Food, please. Brossier not sure... Uh, how many knights he's up against, so he's keeping his uh, crossbow safe. Safe at home. Nope, they're moving out. Where are you going? Nowhere? Why? Go somewhere. Eight with five in queue. Ready. 42 crossbows. Not much going on. I'm not even seeing much on stone. But here's a another TC from Sean. Maybe he'll start taking stone now. And bada bing bada boom. Castle drop. Maybe. Both players get into three TCs at the same time. Now they're turning into boomers. Huh? Why did Oh, is that a starting scout? There it goes. There it goes. What is this? What is this? You got these knights all over the place? Is this how you collect intel? I guess so, right? Yeah, he's, he's nearly got the whole thing scouted. I, I don't even know who's going to win this. The person who submitted it is not using a username that is the same as their um, username on Discord. I might even speed up just because this is so uh, boomy right now. I'm going to go 2x two, two speed. Yeah, I'll go 2x speed. Sitting. Get an elite skirmisher upgrade. Nope. Going Genitor. Oh boy, you're going to see Genitor. That's going to be fun. Wolf chasing a pack of knights. On stone for Brossier. He's going to get Yay. one of those lovely, lovely uh, castles so he can get Yalman. Wolf chasing him across the map. Now he's among these deer. Maybe he'll get something to eat. These deer clearly afraid of that. Ooh, getting some Vilpix at the back. How many Vilpix? Is that three? Sean the Sheep ahead by 10 villagers. Now getting a fourth vil pick, getting very dangerous. Archers coming back. Sean the Sheep now attacking on the front as well with more knights. And with eight knights, Sean the Sheep is splitting up the crossbow force. And Brossier is feeling the pressure. And here we got knights killing a group of crossbows. And Brossier is losing his uh, mass not very fast, you know? He's still got a critical mass. So, probably time to run away with these knights. They are at full capacity here. All right. And the final knights inside of Brossier's base go down. Neither player close to getting a castle, neither player close to Imperial Age. Brossier still going ham on the crossbows. He knows once he gets Yaoman, it's going to be very hard to combat him. These Genitors, uh, they're going to—they're going down fast, man. They're not going to take out that mass. 
You're gonna need like 60 of those to take out these crossbows. Sean the Sheep grabbing a relic. How many relics does he have by now? What's he got? What's he got? In the most safest part of his base, he's got one relic. He's got two monks collecting relics. He's got four monks out. And 11. Yeah, yeah, you can read this stuff. Look at that. He is ahead by only one villager at the moment. You guys want to see some action? Let's take. Let's go see some action. 4x speed. Got booming. We got Fletching coming in. Here come the Genitors. What are they going to do? What will 10 Genitors do against 50 crossbowmen? They'll die. I think he actually attacked this villager. That villager didn't even notice. Or did he attack the farm? No, what did he attack? He didn't attack anything with his Genitors. They're a little more expensive than skirmishers, so you do pay for the mobility. They have the same attack, same range. They're just faster, and they have more health. And I don't think it's worth it. Genitors, I don't think they're worth it. I think you spend half as much money getting twice as many skirmishers and stop floating so many resources. Sean, the sheep. What costs gold and wood? Make that. Because <laughs> that is a lot of, uh, you know, potential onagers that you don't have right now, Sean. Can we get some mangoes from you? Where's your siege workshop? I want to see it. If you're going to sit back with this many resources, get like 10 mangoes. Make them roll up slowly. He'll micro down a couple of them. He'll get some shots. His mass will be gone and you'll come in with your knights. Yeah. I'm just describing the way that I, you know, if I think this sheet, things should be going. That much resource. Man, what would I do with all that resource? What would I do with all that gold? Going to go four TCs versus four TCs, but both players nearly fully are nearly at their full boom. Forward castle from Brossier. He wants to close out the game. So he's going to add a foothold. Pressure going to shoot uphill. No problem. There's not a lot of army for Sean the Sheep. I wonder who will win this game. Will it be the person who is using their army, who is gathering up a ton of army, who is using all their resources? Or will it be the very safe, very defensive Sean the Sheep? Hmm. Hmm. Without a siege workshop, I believe Sean the Sheep will lose this game. We have now two castles. One does not deny the other, though both of their bases do seem pretty safe now. Going to go for a fifth TC, and blue is going to be upset when his villagers finally get there and they see, oh, there's already a TC here and then they get shot down. wonder how long it's going to take for them to notice it. Alright, going to ramp up production here at the front. Not that 63 archers was not enough, just that 120 would be even more nice. Going to go up to Imp for both players around the same time. Finally going to get Ballistics for the archers player. Let's see what happens in Imp. Who will make a treb first? They should both make trebs when they get the imp. Though one of them may choose conscript conscription instead. <gasps> what is this? Is he not going to notice? He noticed. Okay, he's walking away. And that gold will be safe for red. Kazba. Berbers are going to have Kazba soon. This TC is going to go down. Imperial Age is on the way. What a mass of archers. With that many archers, well, you gotta ask yourself, what am I doing? Do I have enough knights? Do I have enough stables? The answer is no. Ooh, why are these bills running this far? Look at all those stables that are going up. Seems the Britain's player wants the knights or light cav or cavalier or whatever. Still making genitors. Sean the Sheep. Not not enough production buildings. I think we know... Oh, getting get the Cavalier upgrade for 13 knights. Please, drop four more stables. Over here, uh, it looks like Sean is going to end up... It looks like Brossier is going to end up winning this game. He's got such better production. 
And now he is using his army. Uh, there's a small amount of knights in the stable, but they are going to be destroyed by... What is this? 80? 60 Arbalus? Am I only allowed to select 60? Or is that actually how many are there? I think I can select more than 60. Yeah, there's 70 Arbalus. There's 10 at the front. Mm, with Siege, though, Sean could take it if, uh, you know, Brosier doesn't reply with his own Siege. These Arbalus will soon have, will have Bracer. These Cavalier will run away. And this castle should stop those Arbalus in their tracks. But we'll see how that goes. Rosia running away with his one treb. One versus four. Yep. Can't fight that. Please, Sean. More stables. Please. Three stables. Where did he put the third one? I want five stables. Oh, here we go. Yes, thank you. Woohoo! Now, more farms. Let's see if he listens to me there. He's got 49. Don't leave it at 50. Let's go to let's go 70 farms. Let's do it. And uh, get 30 on gold. Yeah, more on gold. Woohoo! <laughs> now he's gonna now he's gonna get his production set right. We're getting post imp. He's getting he's getting elite genitor. That way he can have very mobile skirms. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. He's engaging a little early, but the Arbalist ball is not here to stop it. Sean the Sheep taking out 10 Arbalists. Sean the Sheep now being attacked by 60 Arbalists. And his Trebs have been left alone to die to six Light Calves. Genitors going after the Arbalest ball. Cavalier needs to turn around, take care of the Trebs. A reinforcement of Cavalier are coming in to take out these Light Calves. There's only three Light Calves left. They run away. There are two Trebs still for Sean the Sheep. Grossier coming in with one Treb, taking out with his less accurate um, Britain's Treb. That's not right. Warwolf should give Britain's Treb more accuracy, though I do not think that Grossier has uh, researched that. Grossier now has 13 Light Cav in queue. There are four Trebs attacking Grossier's other castle. Soon Grossier will be without castles. Grossier's... Uh, Arbalist Ball is now going down to a slow trickle of Cavaliers. Sean the Sheet needs to wait with his Cavalier. Needs to put them on defensive stance or something. Keep them with the Trebs. Let the Trebs move slowly forward. Consolidate your army, sir. Cavalier are fighting two Light Cav. Those Light Cav will not kill those Trebs. Cavalier going in for the kill. Trying to kill these Stone Villagers. Brosier has the goal, has the stone for one more castle, trying to get the stone for two more castles. Will not get that stone. Arbalest coming in to kill the Cavaliers. The Cavaliers cannot penetrate the ball of uh, Arbalest, but Brosier is below 100 villagers. Sean the Sheep now, three siege workshops. Sean the Sheep without Cavalier. The Arbalest ball is not being addressed. The Arbalest ball is going to take out this trip. Sean the Sheep is going to raid Brosier to death. These Cavalier are killing all the Vils. The small contingency of Cavalier are sitting next to a... Sitting next to two Trebs. Sean the Sheep looking to build a castle. A small unit of Cavalier are coming in to kill more Vils. Brosier is grossly behind in economy. Brosier may be running out of resources soon. Brosier now getting... Uh, chemistry. Uh, Sean the Sheep is getting Onager. Sean the Sheep finally going to give us some good attack grounds against this ball of Arbalists. Sean the Sheep used, putting his gold and wood to good use. Sean the Sheep not attacking with his Cavalier, now attacking with his Cavalier. This ball of Arbalists, it's scary. It's getting small. 38 and... The Vils are dying. The Vils are back here at home. Where's our king? Where's our army? Where are our sons? They were all sent off to shoot their shooty shoots at siege weapons. Why Why aren't they here saving us? Cavalier go down, but the damage has already been done. The Vil count is 141 to 77. Yay. The Arbalest count is... It's getting back to a death ball, 44. But the Cavalier numbers are not going down either, and the Siege numbers are non-existent for Brosier. Brosier cannot take away this castle. 
Castle Foundation still stands. Three Trebs are getting ready to take out one stable. Two Trebs are taking out one castle. Rosier in great danger. And it happened as it should. You know, there's a death ball. You're not quite using your death ball as you should. Maybe you needed some more Castle Age Siege if you wanted to do some damage. Sean the Sheep was able to bide his time. He was sitting on a lot of resources. He could have probably done this a lot. <laughs> Gotta go! <laughs> Sean the Sheep probably could have done this a lot sooner with the amount of wood and gold that he had, that he was sitting on for so long. Uh, at the end of the game, he just exploded forward with production buildings. He didn't have it for so long, I was getting frustrated. I, I said it so many times, like, gosh, your production, let's go! I was getting, I was getting pretty frustrated, but these, these players delivered. Um, the death ball needed Ready. some variety. It was there. It, it just needed some siege backup, you know? Or, you know, maybe even just some halves. Well, what is he gonna attack you with? He's attacking you with this crap, right? Uh... Halves are, you don't want to make a counter unit, right? You want only your gold unit, but even if you're just going to have this death ball, there was a, a time when a few rams would have put the nail in the coffin. During the castle drop, if there had been some rams, like, the castle drop is pressure, but you got to follow it up. Um, and Sean the Sheep, of course, threw down his Imperial Age, threw down his production buildings, and with kind of a lean army, he never really had the same numbers that uh, Brossier did, but Brossier had no variety. Sean the Sheep instead had plenty of siege. Uh, he had siege when he needed it, and he his genitors. I liked him, you know? It may not... It may be... Uh, <laughs> what? Dog, dog. I'm giving a... <laughs> I'm giving a summary, dog. Quit it. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, uh, I was going to say, maybe Spirit of the Law, uh, you would want more skirmishers and not just, <laughs> but not just genitors. I got to go see what my dog wants. <laughs> Good game, everybody. It's fun to watch.